the Warcraft Bible! From children that had to survive off of kitty litter while their parents played World of Warcraft, to a child who commits suicide because he wanted to join his heroes. Today, my friends, we count down the five worst cases of World of Warcraft addiction ever. If you destroy your own life with your addictions, that's one thing, but when you involve the lives of your children, that's something else entirely. An Idaho mum lost custody of her kids by playing World of Warcraft for up to 12 hours a day, at times neglecting to feed them. When the authorities found her three neglected children, they were in terrible shape, lucky to be alive. The youngest child had a huge infestation of lice, and the oldest child had severe tooth decay. There was even a butcher knife found on the floor, right next to their toys. Even after multiple interventions by the court and multiple warnings, she showed little to no improvement and even implied that her World of Warcraft addiction should qualify her as disabled. In number four, we have the suicide to join the heroes. Unfortunately, there have been more than a few suicides due to World of Warcraft. Take Zheng Xiaoyi as an example, who played World of Warcraft for up to 36 hours in a row. He then, unfortunately, in May 2005, jumped off an extremely tall building to end his life. In his suicide note, he explained that he wanted to join the heroes of the game he worshipped. His parents later sued the Chinese distributors, claiming that the company should have imposed a stricter age requirement in order to log on and play. In number 3, we have the Chi Hung Salvation Training Camp. So what's the solution to addiction? Well, now we know what not to do. China has treated their internet addicted youth in the worst possible way. They opened the Chi Hung Salvation Training Camp, which looked more like a prison than a rehab center. Although it billed itself as a haven to treat technology addiction, it was really a corporal boot camp with brutal exercises and physical beatings for kids that didn't rise to the challenge. One World of Warcraft obsessed kid, Deng Sinshan, was beaten to death on his first day there. Kids who survived the camp remembered living in constant fear. Man, I hear kids complaining about getting off World of Warcraft to do the dishes. In number two, we have a child who was forced to eat cat litter. One morning in 2009, a three-year-old child was rushed to the hospital where she later died. Her bones were protruding from her body. She only weighed 23 pounds, and she had resorted to eating cat litter in a desperate attempt to stay alive. Her mother, rather than raising and feeding her, spent the entire day playing World of Warcraft. Even on the day her daughter died, the mother logged into the game from 12 p.m. that afternoon until 3 a.m. the following morning. She was convicted of second degree murder among other crimes and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. And finally in number one, we have the individual who thought he was a fire mage. This is a pretty bad break from reality. A 17-year-old kid poured gasoline all over his classmate and lit him on fire, claiming that he had transformed into a fire mage. Something feels a little fishy about this. Maybe he was looking for a reason to torch his classmate, and came up with this rationalization after the fact. The courts didn't buy it either. They sentenced him to eight years behind bars and ordered his family to pay $100,000 and restitution. Well, that is going to conclude the video for today, guys. I hope you guys did all enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Fair Dinkum. I love you guys all so much. Thank you all so much for the support. This has been the Warcraft Bible. Stay devoted, guys. Peace out.